Alright, let's rock and roll. Today I have a review of Devil on Blu-ray. And someone actually requested that I review this, and requests are always welcome. So, here you go, here's your review. Uh, Devil is of course by M. Night Shyamalan, and his movies have kind of been really hit and miss, and so, you know, I think a lot of people didn't know what to expect of this movie. I didn't know what to expect of this movie, and I kind of... You know, I didn't really have a whole lot of plans on watching it. I got a good deal on it, so I, I picked it up and I was interested. And I think a friend had told me that they liked it, so I decided to go ahead and check it out. And basically the story of the movie is uh, these people go into an elevator in a building, and the elevator shuts down, and supposedly one of them's the devil. And so pretty much what happens is there's, uh, I think it's five people, get trapped in this elevator and the power goes out, the elevator won't move, and security's trying to get in there, the police are trying to get in there, the fire department's trying to get in there, and they're not having any luck and you assume it's the devil that's making it so hard. And at one point you see uh, a, a face on one of the security cameras and the one the one uh, security guard is maybe superstitious or religious and he he's the one who starts this whole idea that it's the devil that's in there and he's kind of telling them it's the devil it's the devil and nobody believes him obviously because somebody said oh the devil's in the elevator you wouldn't believe him either so then slowly these people just start uh, dying off one by one and uh, I'm not gonna give away who dies how many people die if anyone survives but there there was a little bit of debate between the people who I watched it with whether the devil was just like an entity and at the end he took one of the one of the one of the people's bodies or if he was in the body the whole time you know it's a little bit confusing in that sense and um, but that doesn't really distract from the movie all these all the people who were in the elevator you know were were not nice people but they weren't for the most part they weren't murderers and rapists or you know whatever you think is really bad you know they were like scamming people and stealing purses and you know one guy had gotten to a, a hit and run and killed some people you know which which is obviously bad but he wasn't a murderer per se I guess but uh I really like this movie I thought it was was pretty good it was definitely a lot better than I expected and I think uh, from M. Night Shyamalan that kind of set the bar pretty low but this was his idea and uh, he produced it but he didn't actually direct it which maybe that affected it a lot I'm not really sure the picture quality on this was really great it looked extremely good and uh, let me just go over the special features real quick uh, there's only three deleted scenes and the deleted scenes were just basically intros for three of the characters where they they kind of went into a tiny bit of their backstory because basically when the movie starts uh, the people are just getting in the building and on the elevator so you don't know the characters at all before they start finding out everything in the elevator so they kind of went back a little bit and showed them a little bit how they were but it didn't necessarily show that they were really bad people so I don't know that it added anything I don't know that it would have taken anything away if they had it it's pretty much uh, not really necessary though, so that's probably why they deleted it, just to save a few minutes. And it was only a few minutes long between all three of them. And then uh, they had another thing called The Story, which was the second special feature. And it was just basically like a promotional maybe, like a promotional video they made, where it just kind of talks about the story. And it did, it did give a little bit of insight into kind of the feelings of the characters. Uh, it was pretty short though, just a few minutes long. And then uh, The Devil's Chronicles was the next special feature. And that's pretty much just talking about the devil and who the devil is. You know, it was another really short thing. Uh, combined, all the special features probably weren't even 10 minutes. You know, so they're all just really short. Uh, the last one is The Night Chronicles, which pretty much was pointless. I've never heard of The Night Chronicles, but M. Night Shyamalan obviously has to do with him, where he wanted to kind of do this uh, sort of like Twilight Zone thing and it's like he comes up with the story he produces it but then he has new directors do it and this this is the first one and I guess he plans on doing more I don't know when but it's kind of a deal with that pretty pretty pointless like just self promotion I guess but uh, I really enjoyed this movie and I definitely think you should check it out 
and let me know what you think of the review and let me know what you think of the movie.